Rock the Block can change you for the better or for the worse. I mean, it can really make you hate humanity and make you hate your path in life. Part of these streets. We got one goal in mind, and that's to win. It hurt. It really did hurt to lose everything. Hopefully we win something, because last time that was really embarrassing to not win a single thing. Last time we were on Rock the Block, the win was stolen from us. It took us months to recover from it. I'm on the block! We're going on the block! All right. It's just not right. Last season, I think I learned more about myself and how I would handle defeat. We will never step down from a new challenge. I can't focus. I'm from Los Angeles County. I had the best childhood on the planet, and it was amazing. I literally grew up in a melting pot. We just played together until the streetlights came on, and we had to go home. I was born in uh, New South Wales, Australia, just north of Sydney, a little coastal town, surrounded by waterways just like this. I feel like I'm at home down here. I am from Oakville, Ontario, Canada, which was a great little town to grow up in, because I met Brian. <laughs> we went to school together since a young age. I am from a small town in Canada, and it, it was a lot of fun growing up there. Country boy. Brian used to play the flute, and he was like always the like nerdy kid in music class, but. That's his story to tell. <laughs> My interests were you know, fishing, riding the dirt bikes, snowmobile, lighting things on fire. He's all macho now, but mm, not back then. <laughs> on the flute. Leslie and I have always been best friends. We've always been super close. I mean, closer than like normal sisters. First off, this is so weird because it's the first interview I've ever done without my sister. We're very different though. We both have totally different strengths. As a child, I was interested in design, art. You know, I'm definitely like more of the frugal one that likes to make sure that we don't like overindulge in, you know, our houses or our designs or, you know, spending too much money on products or materials or whatever. Do you know what the word budget means? Budget. Yeah, no. So I grew up in Andrews, Texas. It was very dry and desolate and dusty. I am from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and Sioux Falls is named after a small waterfall that is down the Sioux River, and that's about the only land feature for probably about 500 miles. My parents were teachers, and on last day of school was kind of day one of construction projects. So every year, we either added on or built a barn. From five years old, really, I've been project managing, doing construction stuff, and I've kind of lived that whole life. My mother was an aspiring author when she had me, which is why my name is Paige Turner. My mom's always giving me the greatest lessons. I mean, she always told me to never leave the house with chipped fingernail polish. But she just told me that you want to present your best self, and that makes you work harder to be your best self. And that's what I've always carried with me. My dad had a lot of heart. Dad was also a builder, custom homes, big homes, just like when we're in here today. You know, he was pretty quiet but he just led by example. That's what he did, a hard worker. And just kind of went straight to work for him, became a carpenter, and now look at me, huh? I'm a builder on TV. My father was a blue collar, sheet metal worker, owned his own company, mom ran the company. And dad always told me, you know, don't my name up. I grew up in a very creative setting. I loved being in a dance studio every hour of every day. I opened my first company at 14 called the Moon River Handyman. And we, uh, we started hauling garbage and mowing lawns, and we ended up working for a framing contractor, a uh, building. And mom would say, keep your nose clean. You know, show up when you say you'll be there and do what you say you'll do. Uh, clean up at the end of the day, cash the check, pay the taxes, and do it again tomorrow, and life will be good. They weren't wrong. While we were actually building our very first home, I still had a dance studio. I was teaching every day of the week, and we were trying to build the house. I decided to take a little break from the dance studio and help Brian full time. 
20 years later, we've had four kids, we have 14 businesses, and we operate in four different countries. So it's been busy. So when I met Keith, I had never renovated a house. I had actually, I have a PhD in physics. We moved into our first house together, and that was a fixer. It took about nine months for us to renovate that first house, just kind of working on the weekends. And at that point, I had a choice. Do I want to continue on in the industry that I was trained in, or do I want to go do this flip thing with Keith? So I obviously chose the flip thing. Last season, and you can see my evolution or demise, we built a dream home that our families would live in. Yes. And uh, I know they're very proud of us, so. Yeah, they are. They are. Very good. We went back from filming Rock the Block, which is, you know, an insane production that's just huge, right? Back to filming Fix My Flip, where there's like one, maybe two cameramen, and it's like getting out of a Ferrari and getting in a Honda. <laughs> so season three, we don't talk about it. That's in the past. Season five, now, it's about redemption, and it's about us waiting. You want to hear your name being called, and when they weren't, um, I took it really hard. The winner of Rock the Block is Michelle and Anthony! Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> they pronounced our names wrong. Instead of Brian and Sarah, it sounded like Michelle and Anthony, but it's clearly a mispronunciation. Michelle and Anthony! This time, it is a little more personal. I don't want to go again without a win. I feel like it would be kind of a blow to my ego at this point that I'm not, like, ready for. Plus, taking from what I walked away with last time was listen to Evan more and really value add is more important than art, maybe. Where are you going with that? Just kind of not straying too much from what a mainstream buyer will actually want. So who was right? <laughs> Last time we were on Rock the Block, it took us months to recover from it. Leslie longer than me, because I could see the value in the design aspect, the getting to work with large budgets. Listen, this isn't a game for us. This is our time. This is our moment. We're here to fight. This time, we're going to make sure that we win the whole thing. Our biggest competition, honestly, I think is Brian and Sarah. I mean, they live on an island. And we are doing an island on the water. So. Treasure Island, Florida. Yeah! I think Lindsay and Leslie are going to be a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. I'm gonna say Paige and Mitch are the biggest threat. They definitely are very hungry for a win. Paige is definitely a competitive spirit. Oh! My biggest threat this season is Sarah, my wife. I think our biggest threat this year is probably Paige and Mitch. Paige is a very fierce competitor. Paige and I, we are here for redemption. We're not gonna spend seven weeks away from our babies again for not taking home the victory. We are here for redemption. Redemption. Redemption moment. Redemption. Everyone here wants to win. To redeem ourselves. It's the redemption year. Revenge of the Twins. There is nobody on the block that doesn't want to take home the win. This is redemption. <laughs>